Hey guys, it's Justin Bate and welcome to another health and fitness vlog. If you want to lose weight, maintain weight, or make a lifestyle change, then you are on the right channel. What's up everyone? I am so excited today. I'm so excited about this vlog. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing a bit about my health and fitness journey. I started way back in 2015 and I'm going to give you some tips on how I got here. Why am I doing this? Is because I realized that shifting to a healthy lifestyle took me so many years. But that was me. You don't have to go through what I've been through. And that is the sole purpose of this vlog today, to make your journey the opposite of mine, make it easier and make your shift happen in a year or maybe less than a year. So before we begin, I just want you guys to know that the tips that I'm gonna be giving are in chronological order. You cannot do tip number three if you won't do tips number one and two. So I arranged these on purpose to have a structure and so that you won't go all over the place when you start your health and fitness journey. Trust me, I wish I had done this like sooner or before because it would make my health and fitness journey a lot easier. Okay, no more long introduction, let's get started. Tip number one, know that being healthy isn't just about food and workout. When I started my health and fitness journey, I thought that once I eat clean and exercise like frequently, I am considered healthy or I am like just healthy. There wasn't much information about how to achieve a proper healthy lifestyle compared to now and really it was literally all about physical appearance most advice back then was literally just eat clean and exercise so what's wrong about that advice well if you eat clean that's considered healthy eating but not a healthy lifestyle you could literally eat clean but you still stay up until three in the morning you let people get into your head a healthy lifestyle means you're physically healthy you're emotionally healthy and you're mentally healthy so when we talk about physical health you can walk, you can run, and like literally do the functions of your body. When we talk about mental health, it's your ability to learn, to feel, to create good relationships with others and especially yourself. And when we talk about emotional health, it's you being comfortable with who you are, you're resilient, and you can manage your feelings and emotions. Tip number two is be willing to make the change. Willingness is so important. This is gonna be your motivation. This is where you're gonna be looking at in the future. It's important to go through tip number one because by then you know that if you wanna make the change, you need to look at every aspect of your life. So during this phase, try to write down your current habits, especially the bad ones, like your sleep, your food intake, your water intake, your workout, and how you handle good and bad situations. So once you've written down these current habits, try to make a checklist and think of all the things that could make these bad habits better. So for example, your water intake, if you don't reach two liters a day, then maybe that's what you're gonna write down. I need to drink two liters of water every day. Once you finish the checklist, ask yourself, are you willing to make the change? Are you willing to let go of these bad habits and start these good ones? And then ask yourself, how willing are you? to make the change. And honestly, I have to say that you can do the next tip if you're not 100% sure that you're willing to make the change. So tip number three is know your health and fitness goals. This is really a crucial step of your health and fitness journey. This is where you will begin. And this is also gonna be the thing that you're gonna be looking at in the future once you're in the middle of your health and fitness journey. You literally, will go back to this. So this is really the thing that I wish I had done the moment I started my health and fitness journey. If there was ever an advice or some tips the time I started my journey, it wasn't applicable to a number of people. So the advice that what works for you doesn't work for everyone wasn't at the time yet. So the tendency was that when I look at my health and fitness role models, I like literally do their workouts. I'd eat what they would eat. And I felt like their goal is also my goal. The wrong thing that I did at that time was that I really didn't see my own needs. This person is thin, this person is so toned, so muscly, and so very just fit. So I thought I have to do what this person does. But really, your health and fitness goals are surely different from other people. And the way to know your health and fitness goals is through tip number two. The checklist you just made, you have to go through it again and see what habits are you trying to change. So when it comes to sleep, when it comes to food, when it comes to fitness. So when it comes to sleep, maybe you want to sleep early. When it comes to food, you want to 
eat whole foods and when it comes to fitness maybe you want to be lean you want to be toned and really i have to say it again what works for others doesn't work for you your health and fitness goals are unique and that's just really for you really you can do the next tip without knowing your goals first so number four is build a routine so once you know your health and fitness goals try to build a routine around that tip number three is the what in your journey tip number four is the how in your journey so the first few tips are like the planning stage and this tip is when you take action when it comes to your routine so for example you want to sleep longer so probably set a bedtime so if you want to start exercising plan your workout your workout days and your rest days and if you want to eat properly you might want to eat breakfast lunch and dinner your routine is going to be based on your day your work and your availability so really the nice thing about a routine is you get to create your own a routine is unique to everyone and you get to structure your day and really anything depends on you if you have a routine your days are going to be easier and like so much better and really it's going to help you a lot so tip number five is be consistent so once you have your routine all you have to do is be consistent i know it's so easy for me to say that all you have to do is be consistent but really once you have your routine, you should just be consistent. You should continue what you're doing because you've started this. And I really have to say that being consistent is going to be like one of the challenges in your journey. But you know, really always remind yourself why you did this in the first place. And this is what I told you that you go back to your health and fitness goals. You have to be consistent because this is where you're going to be seeing results. I know that being consistent is so hard sometimes, but trust me, once it becomes a habit, it's going to be a lot easier. You know, once it becomes a habit, it's going to be like automated in you to do these things. Remember the saying, a habit only becomes a habit if you do it every day. So consistency is key. So tip number six is a relapse is okay, but you have to bounce back immediately. I too had a relapse like so many times in my journey. Just so you know, a relapse isn't a one-time thing. It's gonna occur to you like probably so many times in your journey too. So when you experience a relapse, my tip is don't be so hard on yourself. Just pick yourself back up and also again, go back to your health and fitness goals. Like really, do anything to cope with it. You already started. Think of all the things you've been through, your time, your effort. So tip number seven and the last is be happy with your choice. No matter what, no matter the results, no matter how long it will take you, the point is you've started to change your lifestyle. And really, that's something to be proud of and something to be happy about because it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of determination to even just, you know, decide and start to do it. So be happy with it and remember that your health and fitness journey isn't going to end, you're always in it. Changing your habits or changing your lifestyle takes a lot of effort and time. But really, you need to invest in that because when we think about health, we should think long term. So that's it. I hope that this video, that this vlog helps you start your own health and fitness journey. So if you have started and you followed my tips, please let me know. Give me an update because I would love to know how you're doing. And really, I it would just make me happy to be able to encourage a lot of people. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you and see you again next time.